All right, guys, uh, we're out here with the uh, Essex Frame uh, 1911 uh, that we went uh, retro with. Uh, so we're going to run these uh, first two magazines through it. These will be the uh, first ones since the rebuild. Uh, as you remember, we're uh, still running with that uh, loose uh, ejector and uh, a little bit questionable extractor. So uh, don't expect a whole lot. I'm going to keep my expectations low, and uh, maybe it'll surprise me. Okay guys, that's the uh, Essex uh, 1911, uh, did have a few little issues with uh, chambering that first round in the magazine and uh, we did have one that uh, didn't want to go around the first time around, but uh, all in all, uh, fairly successful. We'll uh, have to do a little uh, tweaking on it and uh, see if we can get it a little more reliable, but uh, so far I'm uh, pretty happy with that first test on it. Now that's the uh, target on the Essex. Uh, like I say, not the greatest group, but uh, considering uh, GI sights and uh, still being a little sticky and all, uh, I don't consider that too bad for the uh, first time out. Uh, anyway, we'll, uh, like I say, continue to work on it and see if we can polish her up a little bit more and uh, see how she does. Uh, hope you find this interesting. We'll uh, talk to you later. Have a good day. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back to the ranch. Dr. Uptown here. I uh, just returned from the range with the... Uh, Essex rebuild um, performance was uh, a little better than uh, than I expected. Uh, do have a little problem with the uh, first round, uh, not wanting to feed in, but uh, after that, uh, it seems to uh, cycle fairly well. Uh, one thing I am noticing though is uh, I'm going to question the uh, recoil spring as to. Uh, whether it's either the right spring or whether it's uh, in that good a shape, it uh, does seem to be a little anemic when it goes to um, chambering the next round. I did have uh, several failure to return uh, to batteries where uh, the slide was hanging back about that much. And basically it's just enough to prevent the, uh, the barrel from uh, locking into the lugs it would actually be closed and then just by uh, shoving on the uh, back of the slide it would take it that last small amount into the locked position um, <clears throat> that could be caused by several things but uh, <clears throat> like I say the uh, recoil spring aspect of it really uh, seems to be the uh, the first thing that I really want to seriously look at um, since like I say obviously we're not sure where the parts came from and I don't know what uh, particular poundage that spring is they may have put a lighter weight spring in it um, but uh, beyond that it uh, actually uh, performed much better than I expected especially with that uh, loose ejector still in place um, it seemed to uh, 
seemed to run fine as far as the ejection. I did have a couple come back and uh, ding me in the head and uh, tried to have one run down my shirt. But uh, all in all, uh, all in all, I'd say it ran at about 90%. So, uh, like I say, just a couple of uh, minor things that uh, we're going to look at here. I'm going to clean it up and uh, and um, see where we're at. Uh, like I say, this pistol had never, uh, you know, obviously had never been fired uh, prior to when we got it. So uh, it does seem to be. Uh, a little tighter than I initially first assessed also so that could be a part of it uh, I only ran uh, about 50 rounds through it so uh, all in all it wasn't bad but um, it still could use some fine-tuning uh, once we got about 25 rounds in I did go ahead and uh, kind of uh, run a little bit of lube down the uh, slide and that did seem to improve it uh, its uh, ability to return to battery and uh, so anyway, I think with some shooting and uh, maybe changing out that recoil spring to the uh, proper weight, to a spring that I know is the proper weight. Uh, and then we'll uh, take it back out and uh, see how she shoots then. But uh, anyway, just to uh, let you know that uh, it did perform fairly well and, uh, and uh, beyond my initial expectation for it. So uh, we're going to root her as a... A successful rescue for now and uh, like I say with some more shooting and uh, some uh, slight fine tuning we'll uh, see where we end up at. Anyway I hope you find this interesting we'll uh, talk to you later and have a good day.